welcome back boys and some girls. This video is about the MapleStory game that was announced back at 2023 and might actually be releasing at the end of this year. This piqued my curiosity and this is basically the result this video. You need to know a lot of the footage in this video will be coming from the MapleStory Universe channel on YouTube. So if you want more detailed stuff, they have a few videos that are like 20 minutes long each, one that's 10 minutes. Anyway, if you want more details, go watch their video. I'll put it in the description. Let's begin. So what is MapleStory N? MapleStory N is another version of Maple that is simply part of a whole universe of MapleStory games and product that is involved in NFTs. Yes, NFTs. When I first heard that, I also said, no, thank you, goodbye. But now I heard about a recent test, a game test that was, and it has pretty interesting features. So I went to research. What are the differences between Maple and Maple N? Before I explain to you the differences, just note th that the test only featured Explorer classes, the five of them, yes, nothing more than that, and only bosses up to Lotus and Damien. So nothing beyond that. Okay, one huge difference is that there are no NPC shops, no potions, no secondary, nothing. No NPC shops, you just, everything is achieved through player to player or grinding the maps, nothing d different than that. Just player to player trading, we're gonna call this PvP trading in this video. To explain to you PvP trading, I have to tell you that the main currency is named Nesolet. It goes it's almost the same as Nesto, the Meso, you just get it from monsters as you grind and you can exchange it into Neso with an N, not Meso, Neso, for a fee, of course. Neso you will use for either tra trading or you can exchange it to a different, a third different currency to actually upgrade your stuff. What you need to know about currencies is that every currency exchange has a fee and every currency has a different value and a different name. I think that Nexon will either use it to use the fees to make money off of it or they will use it to confuse you so whatever the real money is going to come like real real money real world money is going to come into the game you won't really know how much you spend and the trading the exchange you will be confused so you won't be sure how much you spent it's a casual mobile game strategy to just make you spend more besides that i don't really see a reason why you do that i mean just make everything the same currency why do you care only one thing I can say for them is that there's basically like the offline currency and online currency, not really. But basically you have the, your money that you use in the game and money, money that you can use in the universe of the MapleStory games. Doesn't include GMS, doesn't include GMS. Okay, back to the main subject. Using the main currency, you will trade either equipment or characters or anything really potions buffs whatever you want nx keep on throwing regarding equipments you have three types of equipment number one you have the mintable equipment the unmintable equipment and the minted equipment the mintable you can all obviously turn into minted it's just a few clicks mint is another word for trade meaning that minted item can be traded Another small difference is, well, it's not a small, it's a pretty big difference, that you can only upgrade or trade those carrying down items. So you don't really have any choice. You have to mint the items that you actually want to use on your own character. Even if you don't trade it, simply because you want to do it to upgrade. A neat thing about this is whenever you, you mint uh, an item, it gets like a small number on it. So you know how many of those kind of items there is in the market. Okay, this is a good part to explain to you about item acquisition. As I said before, all items are droppable, including pets, whatever you want. However, they have a quantity limited over a certain period of time. You can see that certain period of time on the reward UI. It's a new UI thing, it's a new system thing. I will explain it more a bit in a bit, but they also have quite a low drop rate. I think it's understandable because you're gonna farm them quite a bit as you scale the amount of monsters you farm. It makes sense. Good news is there appear to be no expiration on items, at least for now. The reward screen actually show you all that you need to know about your map or the items you wanna look for. So you can actually search on the world map for the items you want and it will show you where you need to farm those items if you want to get them. And when I say items, it's everything. Again, I don't, I'm not going to say it every single time. So just know when I say items, I mean everything. Potions, NX, buffs, items, hairstyles, 
eye colors, everything is in that. Drops can be divided into normal drops and rotation drops, just as it sounds, normal drops drop like instantly when you kill the mobs. Rotations are again obviously on a rotation so they change every single like i don't know a reset every certain period of time they change to different items you can check on the reward ui thing when they're going to come back and what the rotation is small note about the drop rate is that the higher amount of items there is the higher the drop rate so 10 is going to be x amount once you have five it's going to be x minus something so okay so the best time to get equipment is actually right after reset a question you might have in your head bosses do they exist yeah of course they exist and they drop very similar stuff absolab arcane whatever you want arcane is not in the game yet but i assume it's gonna be yet once again there is a difference here you won't be getting the items instantly as you defeat the boss you will have to wait until reset and even then you roll your chances against the people who were with you in the party once you clear the boss so hunting with strangers might not be the most advised thing remember trading is still a thing so you can actually go bossing with your friends it actually makes more sense to go together now more people more chance that somebody actually get the thing and speaking of friends you can actually buy them and by friends i mean other characters because there is no such a thing as a gamer with real friends all the characters you buy will be arriving with their equipment with their inner ability, with their NX, with their name it, whatever you want. Everything that is equipped on them will be coming with them from the original account into yours. It's a pretty good time to say that link skills are a thing still, but Legion isn't. But don't be too sad yet. There is a new system called NFT collection, which basically as you add more items into the collection, your stats increase. You can see on the UI thing, how much sets you get, depending on the level, the item you put in, if they're in a set, whatever, there's so many different stuff, I'm not gonna get into it, but basically just know, you collect more items, you get more stats, and also it's low level items, so even if you're max level 2, I don't know, 300, level 350, you still have reasons to go back and do quests that are level 30, to actually get all the equipment so you can finish your collection oh and you can retrieve any items that you want at any time but you will lose that so if you take something out you will lose that stat that it gave you one last different thing i want to talk about is the upgrade system the upgrade system we have the same thing we have cubes you have flames and you have stars no scrolls as it seems to be right now again everything can change only different is they use different currencies and the price of using them actually changes depending on how many people use it so for example let's say upgrading for one star to two star costs 10 coins then it is a weekend a lot of people play a lot of people upgrade so it might actually cost now 20 or 30 or i don't know how many and also it works vice versa so less people are actually upgrading it might cost less than, less than 10 depends Everything depends on how many people play. I assume this is just to keep balance. Everything in the game seems to be around balancing, well, demand and, you know. What do I mean by mastermind? Now that you have a decent understanding of what this product even is, I need to explain to you the clickbait title. So put your tinfoil hat on. Maple Story N seems to be fixing quite a lot of problems that Maple, the regular Maple Story servers, GMS, whatever, have. Things like expiration, access to an X, which is again also droppable, trying to make an actual economy, scaling back the damage, better inventory management, and more things that I'm sure will follow once we actually play the game. My theory is that it is only intentional to worthen one product that doesn't make you that much money in order to make your customers go to your different product that can make you more money without them actually feeling that you tricked them. And finally, from a personal opinion, my honest opinion is that I don't care. I'm going to play the game. If it's bad, I'm out. I don't intend to make money from it. I don't have any shares or fracto that I'm involved with. I only want to have fun. I only hope they built a game and added monetization to it and didn't do the other thing, which is take a money scheme and make it into a game. But this is just my opinion. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this fun. If you did, thank you. If you didn't, well, you wasted a few minutes. Keep us safe. See you in the next one. Bye.